Hi, this is Jared from Shuno, and today I want to talk to you about a bug that's in ARCHICAD 29. Hopefully this bug will be addressed before long so it becomes a non-issue, uh, but right now I think it's something important that everyone using ARCHICAD 29 needs to know. This has to do with markers, section markers, elevation markers, detail markers, and interior elevation markers. One of the new features in ARCHICAD 29 is that markers can have renovation status. Prior to this, uh, markers just were. They couldn't be set to demolition or new or existing, but now they can. And that's great. However, there's a bug. And that bug is when you migrate a project into ARCHICAD 29, ARCHICAD takes all of your markers, so elevation markers, interior elevation markers, section markers, and detail markers, sets them to existing. That's good, so they can be seen everywhere. So what's bad here is that when you migrate the project, ARCHICAD creates duplicate linked markers. So you have the original marker set to existing, then you have a linked marker set to demolition and a linked marker set to new. So we can see here, this looks like the marker. I'm gonna go ahead and set show all. If I select that and I go command T selection marker, you can see I have three selected because here is, if you look over here, the thing I've selected is the demolition marker. Let me move it off to the side. That you can see over here is a linked marker. And then if I click again, now you can see I've selected the new marker. So I can move that over there. So I have three markers. This is the existing, the original one, and I have these duplicates, which is stupid. And if you don't know what's going on, you just will be confused one day when suddenly you have linked markers everywhere. That's the thing you should know. Now the question is what to do about, what to do about that. Well, fortunately, there are kind of two quick-ish ways to resolve this. One is renovation filters. Hopefully your projects have existing only, demolition only, and new only. If not, uh, you should add these to your projects. These are default in my template, so if you're using my template, you're a step ahead here. But let's go to renovation filter options. So in my template, I've got an existing only. It hides all elements that are demolition or new. Same thing with uh, demolition, just shows demolition. New just shows new. Uh, let me jump to another file where this is easier to see. Why this is nice is I can click existing only. That's the existing stuff in this project. I can do demolition only. That's what's being demolished. New only. That's what's new. So it's easy to just kind of click back and forth and see what's what. So now this is really nice because if we go back to this project and say show demolition only, all these things are all the linked markers. So you just do that hit delete, select all this, and hit delete, and you're good to go. Then you go up a floor and you look for things. Here's some more stuff that needs to be deleted. You delete it, you're good. And that's, oh, there it is on the third floor. Select that, hit delete, you're good to go. Now, uh, so that's one way to do it. The other way, let's say we go to new. If you don't know how to do it that way, you show new only, select an elevation, then do, uh, Sorry, I drop with that, so the tool is selected. So we've selected the section tool. Now you can do Command A. You selected all the section markers. You're only looking at new things that are set to new renovation status, so you can hit delete. So that's good. You do the same thing with elevation markers, hit delete. Do the same thing with detail markers, hit delete. You do the same thing with interior elevation markers, hit delete. Okay, so here is an interior elevation marker that's set to new. Let's go to new only. There we are. Okay. This is pinned to the new only mark, the new only renovation status. If I just show like new construction, I won't even see it. I have to go to that status and find it. So there's some weird things for finding some of these markers. They're not straightforward. I don't know where those are. Maybe I already deleted those. But you might have to find things that are on pinned layers. That's the point. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. So that's not too hard to isolate elements and just delete all. But you have to remember these markers are created not just in the floor plan, but if you have, say, a section with a bunch of detail markers, those are getting copied in too. So if we show all, you can see we got three of those two. Now, it would be really nice in ARCHICAD if you could do Command F, Find, and Select, go Elevation, and look for 
linked markers, but unfortunately there's no way to just say select all link markers and delete. And even if you could do that, that wouldn't work for this because you might actually have linked markers that are ones you want to keep because like the linked marker tool is nice if you want to show say this detail in multiple places. So you're going to have to go through this process of you know, showing demolition only, then deleting things, then showing new only and deleting things. Fortunately, some of this is kind of like inconsequential and you could just leave it there, but on floor plans, for sure, you need to go through and delete those markers because it's just going to cause trouble. So I think that's the video. Hopefully that all makes sense and you can use this, these techniques to find all this unnecessary garbage that's created when you migrate a project and delete all those dumb demolition and new linked markers. Lastly, as a reminder, if you don't have the show existing, show only, show demolition only, show new only renovation filters in your projects, you really should add those because it's great for auditing projects. This is a perfect example of that. Okay, that's all. Enjoy ARCHICAD 29. Other than some little bumps like this, so far it's been great to use. Download my template, download my, download my work environment, and we'll talk again soon. Bye.